What's up guys? Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to start a new tutorial, this time for Revit 2024. Okay? Yes, you heard it right. So this is for Revit 2024 for architecture. So the first exercise that we will be doing since this is for beginners, we're going to create a project and then we're going to add levels. Okay, so we're going to start a new project and then create levels for the foundation, store floor, upper and lower parapets of the building model. So the objectives are we're going to create a project from a template. We're going to rename default levels and modify level elevations. And we're going to add a level by specifying the level start and endpoints. And then we're going to add a level by offsetting the elevation from an existing level. Okay, so let's do this. So after we open our Revit 2024 from our homepage, so this is the homepage. So I'm going to select here the new icon or the new button to so just click that one. And then we're going to browse to locate our exercise file. So browse it. Let me go to architecture. I will be using this template. So that's an RTE extension file. That means Revit template. So Revit project, the extension file is RVT. But since we're going to start a project using a template, so we are going to use a template file. So I'm going to select here, open. And then create new project. So I'll just select here, okay. All right, and then let us just wait. So this is how the Revit 2024 looks like. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is here on my project browser from the elevation. So you will notice that my current view that is open is south. So you, you will know that that is your current view because it's highlighted here. So it's dark. It's bold. So if I double click the east here. So as you can see, that's a bold uh, letter. So that means that is your current uh, view. Okay, so let me double click the south here. So you will notice here I have two levels created in our project template. Okay, so let's use our mouse to zoom in and zoom out. So now I'm going to click uh, level one here. And then we're going to change the name. So for you to be able to change the name, you have a couple of options. You click that and then you can click the level one here and then change the name. Or another way, you click the level and then you can go to the properties and then you can change the name here. Okay, so now before that, I'm going to change here my selection color. So from the, because you will notice here if I click, uh, if I hover my pointer, the color is blue. If I click, the color is blue as well. So I don't want that. So I'm going to personalize this. So go to file. Go to options and then go to uh, colors and then let's change here. The pre-selection, I want that to be like green and then I want the selection to be red. Okay, you can actually change here as well the canvas color theme. You can make that light or dark. So let's check out the dark here. So as you can see, my selection also changed here as well as the uh, pre-selection. So let's uh, use the canvas color scheme dark. So I'll select OK and see how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. Okay, so it's dark. So let me just go back again to file options and then go to colors. I just want to change that back again to light. So there's my selection red and pre-selection green. So I select here OK. So that means if I hover my pointer, you will notice it becomes green. So if I click that, it becomes red. Okay. So at least you have an easier way for you to know if it is just a highlighted or selected element. Anyway, let's change now the name. So for this one, let's click this and then let me type uh, 01 dash uh, store floor enter 
Okay, so now you will have here the confirm level rename. Okay, so if you want to change as well the floor plan here, the name of the floor plan of your level one, you can select yes. If you only want to change the name of the level but you do not want to change the name of your floor plan here, okay, you can select no. And then you also have an option if you do not want to show this dialog box anymore. So if you select yes, uh, if you tick this and then you select yes, so every time you rename your level, it will rename as well the corresponding views here. So if you tick this and then you select no, so what will happen is every time you rename your level here, it will not rename your corresponding view here and it will not appear this dialog box anymore. Okay? So I'm just going to select here yes to rename the corresponding views. So let's select that one. There you go. So as you can see, after I change this, it also updates my floor plan here. Right? So alternatively, uh, alternatively, you can also right click from here and then if you want, you can rename it. Okay? All right. So let's do that as well on our uh, uh, level two. So for our uh, level two, let's change this one here. So let's click this. Okay, and then we are going to change this to a zero zero foundation. Okay, so let's use the other option. So here, so let's change from there, and then let's make this a zero zero foundation dash foundation. Oops. Foundation, enter. Yes, so it's now changed here. Okay, right. So the next thing that I'm going to do is we are going to change now since this is a foundation. So we want that to be lower than my store floor level. So we're going to change the height of our foundation here. So let me change this. So let's click that and then click again. Again, you can also change from here. Okay, but I like to change here. So uh, I'm going to make that minus one, two, five, zero. Enter. And there you go. Okay, so now the next thing that we will be doing, we're going to add levels. Okay, so let's add levels. So from the architecture, okay, let's look for level. So datum, so there's your level. The shortcut is LL. So let's click this one. Okay, so I'm going to position my, as you can see, I have two options here. So we have line and then the other one is pick line. So currently I am using the line tool for creation of my level. So I'm going to zoom out and then I'm going to align my pointer here at the end. Okay, and then I'm going to position the cursor here and then I'm going to move up the cursor up to, uh, let's say, 7,500. So I just need to zoom in to increase or to change the incremental value. So 7,500 and then I'm going to click to begin creating the level. So I'm going to align that to the other levels and then click and there you go. Okay, so that's the first option to add your uh, level. Another option is using the peak lines option. So let's click this. All right. So when we created our level 3 here, the option on our options bar here, it says make plan view, right? The ch it's checked by default. So every time you create your level, it will create the corresponding view as well if make plan view is checked. But this time, I'm going to create another level but I'm going to uncheck my make plan view. So I only want to create a reference level without a corresponding view. Okay, and now uh, I'm going to specify an offset distance here, like uh, 500, and then I'm going to enter. Okay, and then I'm going to position my cursor here, just above, just a little above that level tree. And then as you can see, there's the preview, so just click that. There you go, and then just select here, modify. Okay, 
So I'm gonna click my level 4 here and then as you can see there's a break uh, or add elbow icon there. You see that small icon there. So you can click that to add elbow and then you see there's a blue node. Just drag that up and then you can use the blue node to adjust to tidy up your level. And then we're going to change the name as well. And also notice that the, the colors of our level head here is different. So so we have here black uh, level head compared to our level 3 and store floor and foundation level. It's uh, blue. The reason is that this level doesn't have the corresponding view here. Okay, so that's the reason why the level here, the level head here is black. Okay, so the other levels here are blue because it has its corresponding views. Okay, anyway, so let's rename the view. So let's click this, change this. So I'm going to call this 0 to uh, lower parapet. Enter. Yes, it's now updated. So this one, change this, uh, 0, 03, low, uh, upper, parapet, and then just click outside. Again, let's tidy up. So let's click this level, adjust, then adjust, and there you have it. Okay, so basically this is our uh, simple exercise when we start our uh, project. So you create your project using a template and then this is how you create your level. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.